How does one write code while avoiding the null pointer of doom? The null pointer of doom is a common problem in programming that occurs when a program attempts to access an object that is null or does not exist. This can lead to a crash or unexpected behavior, and it can be difficult to debug. To avoid the null pointer of doom, a programmer should take several steps to ensure that their code handles null values properly. One approach is to use null checking techniques. This can be done by using the null coalescing operator or the null conditional operator in languages that support them. These operators allow a programmer to check if a variable is null before accessing it and to provide a default value if it is. This can help to prevent null references and ensure that the program does not crash. Another approach is to use object-oriented programming OOP, concepts such as encapsulation and inheritance. Encapsulation is the practice of hiding the implementation details of an object and providing a public interface for accessing it. This can help to prevent null references by ensuring that the object's internal state is not accessed directly. Inheritance is the ability to create new classes that inherit the properties and methods of existing classes. This can help to prevent null references by ensuring that objects are of the correct type and have the correct properties and methods. A third approach is to use design patterns such as the null object pattern. This pattern involves creating a special null object that can be used in place of a null reference. The null object typically has no functionality and is used to prevent null references without the need for null checking. This can help to make the code more readable and make it easier to understand the intent of the code. Another approach is to use functional programming concepts such as option types and monads. Option types allow a programmer to represent the absence of a value in a type-safe way, so the program can handle this case explicitly. Monads are a way to handle values that may or may not be present in a functional way. It's a way to abstract the handling of null values. Another approach is to use automated testing. Automated testing can help to identify null reference errors before they become a problem by running the program with a variety of inputs and checking for unexpected behavior. This can be done using unit tests, integration tests or functional tests. It's also important to make sure that the tests cover all possible scenarios, including the case when a null value is passed as an argument. Finally, it's important to keep in mind that null pointer of doom can happen not only in the code but also in the configuration. It's important to validate the configuration files and check that all the necessary properties are set. In summary, to avoid the null pointer of doom, a programmer should use null checking techniques, OOP concepts such as encapsulation and inheritance, design patterns such as the null object pattern, functional programming concepts such as option types and monads, automated testing, and validate the configuration files. Each approach has its own advantages and disadvantages, and it may be necessary to use a combination of approaches to ensure that the code handles null values properly. It's also important to keep in mind that preventing the null pointer of doom is a continuous effort, and it's important to review the code and the configuration regularly and make sure that the program is handling null values in a safe way.